Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fernet channel. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to mine VastChain either on your Windows or Hive OS rigs. Okay, so what is VastChain? VastChain is a cryptocurrency designed to be convenient, functional and secure, featuring an active lightning network, hardware wallet integration, as well as maintaining a heavy focus on education and everyday application. VastChain aims to make the blockchain technology useful for everyone. The vast chain network is dedicated to sustaining a foundation of transparency and trust. Additionally, vast chain is completely decentralized, featuring an open source code base available for review, critique, and change from anyone. The full breadth of the blockchain industry has yet to be realized, which is why development for vast chain remains perpetual and ever expanding okay so now taking a look over on their blockchain information as you can see here that this is currently running on the ghost rider algorithm they currently have a max supply of 21 billion there i do believe and they have a block reward currently of 5000 proof of stake reward is 50 percent to the smart nodes and 40 percent to the miners They're probably a little bit of a spell error there and they will over time go through and get these updates like i said this cryptocurrency itself has only been out for maximum a month right now so as you can see the small little errors that we'll see throughout the website i'm sure after seeing this video they probably will go and update some of those issues so as you can see there's also a smart node option to this this is a cpu and gpu mineable coin so throughout this video guys i'm going to show you how to set this up on your windows and hive os Okay, so if we take a look over on mining pool stats for new proof of work coins, you can see that vast chain is here. So it has only been out for 13 days. It's got at the moment currently 18 known pools. So we will be using one of these pools in today's video to actually get ourselves set up and mining. Now you can pick any pool of your choice. I would recommend not to pick a pool that's directly got over 50% of the hash rate to get yourself set up. But for today's video, just to make things a lot, lot simple, we're gonna be using our plant as it's something that I'm comfortable with and something that I'm already aware of using. So first things first, let's take ourselves over to the pool. Let's find ourselves the vast chain on there. Let's go to the connect section here. And what we're gonna need to do is first things first is we're gonna need to make sure that we download the miner. So we're gonna need to download the XM rig for our CPU and we're gonna need to download wild rig multi for our GPUs and then we're going to need to set up our back file configs so that we can start mining. Okay so the first thing that we're going to need to actually get ourselves set up and mining is we're going to need to grab ourselves a wallet. Now there's multiple different ways that you can grab yourself a wallet address here. So first things first we can take ourselves over to their website and as we can see here they have a core client and you can click on the Windows version there and you will need a Windows PC to download this version. Okay, so once this has downloaded, all you're really going to need to do now is open this up. And if you're the type of individual that saves these onto your computer or you use a virtual machine to save your wallets on, uh, this is totally up to yourself. But myself personally, I have a uh, removable SSD hard drive. And what I normally do is I would create my wallet on there. And then once the wallet has been created and set up and it's synced up, what I'll do from that point is disconnect that from the computer. And as long as I've grabbed my wallet address from there, I shouldn't have any issues. So if we go ahead and we install it like that, give this just a few moments to load itself up there. So as you can see there, this has now set up. Make sure you allow access on this, guys. Press on the dark and press OK onto there. Now we're going to need to go to the receive tab, okay, so that we can actually start to mine and earn some income. So let's press on the mining tab there, type in label for the mining. You can type in there anything you like really. Press on the request payment and there we are guys. We now have a vast chain wallet address. But alternatively, for those of you that have security in mind, you could, like I say, use a virtual machine to do this or you could take yourself over to uh, Exeget and you can get yourself a wallet address from here. You can copy your wallet address and depot into here. And I have noticed that it's been perfectly fine. You can you know, trade in and out of this without any issues. Other people have no problems. So if that's something that you'd like to do, then go for that. Like I say, just because we've had people before, 
complain and saying that you know it is can, can be reckless not saving your things on a virtual machine like i say it really does come down to the individual okay so now that we have our wallet address let's take ourselves over to our plan take ourselves over to xm rig this is the 6.20 version take us down to the gcc win 64 go to control j if this happens press on keep dangerous file keep anyway show in folder let's take this down let's double click on this and i'm just going to create a new folder i'm going to call it xm rig one and i want to throw in the xm rig into there you can just drag and drag up out there that's perfectly fine now now this is in here what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to create a bat file and if we take ourselves over to the r plant pool we click on the xm rig choose our operating system for myself the closest is europe like i say set up yours exactly for what yours is for the worker name i'll throw in the ryzen 7 and what we're going to do is we're going to copy this little script here so press on the copy to clipboard take ourselves back over to our desktop go to new go to text document just open it up Control v so paste that into there press on save as and let's just call this vas dot and then lowercase bat really really important save that like that let me just make sure that i saved them in the right place i sure did okay so let's close that off and as long as we go to our xm rig here go to properties go to compatibility make sure to set this to run it as administrator press apply okay and let's give this a shot to see if we are now mining on vast chain with our cpu so just give that a moment to kick itself in but as of right now it does seem to be all connected up we just need to wait for its first accepted share okay so it is currently saying that operation cancelled like that don't worry if that does happen i would recommend taking ourselves back over to our plant and changing over the area like i said i wouldn't recommend either mine into a different thing because like i say your ping can be affected by this but sometimes the issue can be with brand new cryptocurrencies uh, not all pools are set up and ready for everybody to just jump straight on with every strand so if we change that over there to asia just as a tester and let's click on there again let's run that again and there we have it okay so we're successfully mining on xm rig for our cpu now on vast chain let's take ourselves back over to our plant and as we can see there for the gpu for today's video we're going to be using wild rig multi so let's click on the wild rig version that is there let this install let's take ourselves back over to the minor config setup for us let's click on the wild rig multi let's change the name over there i'm going to be using a 3090 so i'll throw the 3090 in there as the name so i know which cpu i'm using and a gpu and i'm also going to go and copy on the clipboard down the bottom there okay so now that the wild rig multi has downloaded let's take ourselves over to the folder let's take ourselves over to the desktop let's create another folder and call this wild rig i'll call this wild rig wrong because i have plenty plenty of them let's copy everything that's in here drag and drop it into there to be fair you don't need all the things that are there because they are just you know preset configs for yourself but if we take ourselves over to one of these here actually forget about that let's just go and start a new fresh text document call that vas open that up now don't forget to paste the clipboard that you've just got from our plant let's go and press save on that now if this doesn't work we may need to make sure that we have the front of the bat file set up just correct okay so that does look the same as that so if i take us over to here now if i give us a quick refresh and go over here press save as save this with a lowercase full stop and then bat and 
if we go back into the wild rig multi and if we double click on this now we should be successfully mining on our gpu on the windows pc and there we are we have a first share accepted already so that's perfect right so what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to jump in and show you guys how you can set this up for yourself on your hive west rigs and how to set your flight sheets and we'll go from there okay guys so let me show you now how to set up vast chain on hive os so first things first we're going to need to take ourselves over to the wallets tab let's press on add wallets on the right hand side there now for the coin ticker we are going to need to type in their vast like i said this may not pop up for yourself but like i said i would recommend just typing that in there and pressing on enter on there now just to move myself over onto a tab that i've already pre-populated for ourselves so all you need to do is open up your wallet the same as we showed you before copy your address take that over and pop that into the address section now for the name type in vast anything that you would like and the source does not really matter at all press on create now let's move on to the next step which would be creating our flight sheets so for the coin ticker on here we are going to click on vast we're going to press enter on there we're going to select the wallet that we just created there for the pool we're going to correct click on the configure in the minor and for this we are going to use with uh, wild rig multi for this and for the cpu we will use xm rig new so let's go with the wild rig take ourselves over onto here now we all know that this is currently running on ghost rider so let's pop that into there for the wallet let's put the wallet and worker name template in there and then we also need to take ourselves over to our plant as well and just copy the pool address there the one with the stratum so i'm just going to copy that take myself back over to here for the pool url I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to leave that with a, just leave that as that. And that should be perfectly fine from here. Okay, so from here, we just need to press on the apply changes. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a miner in here as well. So if you're interested in mining this on your CPUs, you can also do that as well. So for the coin ticker, we're going to type in VAS in there again. Press enter, select the exact same wallet. For the pull, we will configure that in the miner. And for the miner for the CPUs, we do have two options. We have XM Rig New, and we also have CPU Miner Opt. Personally, I do think CPU Miner Opt is the best, um, you know, miner for Ghost Rider. But as I say, for the uh, purpose of this video, I'm going to show you guys XM Rig new okay so if we pop that onto there and let's press on the setup minor config now we know that this is on ghost rider so if we type in there ghost rider and for the wallet template let's put on the wallet and worker name for the url let's take ourselves back over to our plant let's copy this address from when we set up our minor config from before super super important to do and then let's take ourselves back over to here again paste in the pools url for the password it shouldn't really matter on there that much okay so once you've filled in your flight sheet for the xm rig should look a little something like this you can press on the apply changes put on there vast maybe put on there both okay so i know if that's both cpu and gpu press on the create flight sheet then what you can do is take yourselves back over to your workers press on your worker go back to the flight sheets again and where are we going here there we go select on the worker take ourselves over to flight sheets see the vast on there we press on the rocket ship and from this point right now we are now successfully mining vast on our cpu and gpu for our hive os rigs now also as well as i did mention before you can set up your uh, flight sheets and you know also do this with the cpu minor opt like i said i would also recommend that for you guys as well um you know make sure you give that a bit of a consideration so for the uh, ghost rider there you'd want to get that set up and then for the pool url we'll paste in the pool and then here we are going to need to throw in the tuning overrides so just give me a second then i'll pop back 
Okay, so I have finished filling in the config overrides there. So tuneful with true and force tune true also. I'll make sure to leave these config overrides for you guys down in the description to so make sure you check out there as well. And for the minor fork, we would pop in GR for Ghost Rider. Then from there, guys, we're just going to press on the apply changes, press on the either update or you know have this as a separate um, flight sheet it's up to yourself i'm going to update this flight sheet i'm going to do that to all the workers and we're going to go from there and at this point we are now successfully mining on vas and i'd also recommend as well guys one of the biggest key important factors to protecting your hardware from any damage in the future is to make sure that we look at doing the overclocking for our gpus if we are going to be mining on any different cryptocurrency Right, so there you have it guys. You should now be successfully mining vast chain either on HiveOS or on Windows. So if you took anything or learned anything from this video, then please make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section uh, whether you guys are currently mining on vast chain right now, what cryptocurrency you guys currently mine on, and let me know as well guys, uh, maybe what overclock settings that you guys have got your GPUs currently set to on Ghost Rider, okay? Because it's a brand new algorithm to me as far as mining with a GPU. Uh, I'm used to mining this with a CPU, so don't normally have any issues or anything like that, you know, setting them up. Normally, as you saw before, uh, if you're using like CPU miner opt, you would just set up the tune and then it would tune up the uh, CPU and it would let you know exactly where you're going to be at for your earnings and your settings and it would all be done for you. But as I say with GPUs, they can be a little bit more finicky. They do use a little bit more power and they can do things such as like burn your cables, um, you know, worst case scenario, damage your equipment um, or even start fires. So make sure that you are very very careful there's plenty of websites that you can check out online to find hash rate settings uh, an overclock setting should i say um like i said you can check out hash rates on it or you can check out the juliana kaju dot brazil um there's there's a few other websites but i'm not sure which one has the ghost rider uh, details on there but like i said make sure to check out uh, some of those websites make sure you do your own research make sure that you make sure that you check and have your overclock settings set right and i'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.